We'll see how it goes. Lurk. Yeah, that's a cool word. Um, so we got ivory. Uh, we got IV instead of ivory. That leaves us a better set of tiles to try to do something with next turn. Let's just do that. I don't like when I play a whole bunch of parallel plays, like building three or four words at once. And then on future turns, I can never figure out what to do. So I play this much riskier style, which tends to open up the board and live within the variance because nobody expects this and because I can actually find a word or two this way. Um, so I'm trying to balance my consonants and vowels and not succeeding at it. Mm -hmm. Halo seems to be the word here. Although hob, H-O-B, is definitely a word. I just don't know where I'd stick any of this. Um, I don't suppose Kito, K-I-T-O, is a word. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's K-E-T-O. <laughs> oh, holy. All right, there we go. Let's score us a few points. Scray. Oh, man. Well... I would challenge that, except the bot's word knowledge is the same as that that makes the website. Still pretty sure that's a made-up word, but, you know, we'll go with it. <laughs> um, so, the other thing I need to work on is finding words. Like, the bingos. Seven or eight letter words. We've got bacon plus an E plus a blank. N bacon. How about N bacon? That's got to be right. Yeah. Um, I don't see a common suffix in here. We've got ocean. Like I see the best suffix that if there were one would be face, but I don't think. I don't think F-A-C-E, we have like bond face or knob face. I don't think that would work. Um, so probably best is for me to just play bacon and not try to... Oh, ab is a good prefix, but like, what would the rest of the word be? I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. How do people find words? Well, no, they study them. They put them in the same order and they go through cards. Lots and lots and lots of cards. And uh, this helps them during the gameplay. They can recall what they've studied earlier. I remember carob, C-A-R-O-B, but N carob's not a word. Whatever, I should play bacon somewhere. And this will leave me with E and blank. It'd be best if I could play bako, uh, leaving E and blank. Uh, I don't see how I could do that, though. So, bacon. Yeah, I guess do it. Okay, I think fibula accepts an E. But, goodness, we got some cool tiles here today. Um, This is why you want to... Not burn up things like an A and an N. Because um, now look what we got. 
But more importantly, I've got to just work on my word knowledge. Um, isn't this a word? Even without a leading tile? I thought this is valid. I don't know. It is. Yeah, I've seen this before. It's one of those foul dumps that's worth knowing. Okay, we have widen pretty clearly here, but we want to play W and U. W U D is a word. Um, it's not smart, but where else would we play such a thing? I don't know. I'm looking across the board and not finding anywhere better to put it. Potsies. That's beautiful. All right, now this has got to be an extremely high probability bingo. Two, there's two eyes in it, so I don't know. I E R is a nice little suffix. Dingier. There we go. We found it. Um. Now, where would Dingier even play? I don't know. On this board, nowhere. Uh, but we found it. Um, now, we want to find something that also plays through a D or through an L. Um, so, I-E-L-D would be a suffix. Um, R-N-I blank. So that's, we're close to infield, but infield with an R, infielder, <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's unfortunate, wait, uh, I E R sure, but I should not forget that like E D is an ending as well. But uh, in ringed or something, I'm trying to find something like iridescent. Um, it's just not there. I haven't studied. High probability words of two eyes and a blank. This is kind of challenging. There's got to be something. <laughs> windier? Alright, but again, windier doesn't play anywhere. Because R-I is not a word. Um, so unless I could find some in ringed or something, irid, I don't know. Uh, we're going to find something after the game. It's going to be sad, but I just not finding it right now. So in an actual game. In this situation where we're already down 200 points, the solution is to open up another lane. Um, because that's the only way you could win. Are you going to win? Almost none of the time. You'll never win this way. But sometimes you will win. So it's the right play to open up another lane. Um, so how do we do this? <laughs> Preferably leaving behind EN. Yeah, that would have been. It'd be nice if I could play Irid somewhere. Well, alright. 
This is less than ideal, but I and E is not terrible. Um, ING is a nice suffix, but trending, nerting, nerding, whatever. Um, I'm just not going to be able to... Renting is the word. Renting. But, again, where would it even play? Uh, I did not set up a hook for myself, despite having tried to. This doesn't quite line up. Um, renting does not fit. Mm -hmm. Oh, nerding is not even valid. That's cool. All right. So what do we do? We have a duplicated N. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At this point, I've kind of stopped caring about the game. Um... Oh, that's beautiful. Nicely spotted. Um, where do you even play a J these days? There's a spot. Therme. That's a nice play. Alright. I don't suppose any of the X spots are open. This spot just got taken. Um... Whatever. All right. Um, we can build QI and build anything we want over here. I don't suppose this. I don't know if this is valid. Dei. It is. Basat. All right. Cool. Um. His phone? <laughs> I don't suppose that's valid, right? Yeah, that would be silly. Uh, foe would be valid. Alright, nicely done. Uh, let's pass. Yeah. Alright, hasty bot wins. But there's always next time. Let's go. Um... You gotta pound it. <laughs> Alright. Damn. Alright. Instead. Um. Alright. Where do we play our X? Hmm. Where can we play an X? Fuck if I know. There's an X play. Of course.
course it counters with the Z hitting the X. Oh, that's great. The one time I did something right, it's still there putting me in my place. <laughs> uh, we got Crank. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at all those vowels. That's not a good leave. That is not a good leave. So, how do we do better? We do better by studying more words that involve more short words with vowels in them. Um, hmm. We've almost got like lark or lacking or something, but we have too many eyes. So I want to play like rink or something involving an eye. Uh, well, this is a word and it leaves a decent leave. Uh, and it's not banned, so cool. I mean, clearly this has more than one definition, but still. I don't know. Some words that have been expurgated, I don't know. Uh, if words that have multiple definitions are still in the book, uh, beats me. We got bacon. Bacon's the obvious play. Um... You got anion, right? A N I O. We don't have another N, and there's not an open N on the board. Um, icon that would use up an I, but yeah, we have a duplicated A, so we want to play B A O. And the way to play B A O is bacon, unless we get something better. Um. Yeah, I mean, where could we put a word? Spot is closing all the lanes. That's so not cool. All right. Hey, look, we got all the vowels because I failed to balance my rack. Uh, we got boogie. Sure, why not? Um... Alright, so down here we got like maw. Um, we got wig. This still leaves us with some fun letters. We don't have. Oh goodness, there's a million ways to spell meow. I don't think I have any of them on my rack here. Um, it'd be nice if we did. But I, I don't think I have any of those spellings, so we just need to go pick a valid word. Um, hmm. Well, we want to play the U, so we get laugh, we get hug. Um, not sure what else is playable. Something here, maybe. But our goal is to play the high-scoring tiles. Uh, actually the G, even though it's not as high-scoring as the M. Uh, and 
maybe in general it's easier to play an M than it is to play a G. So maybe I want to play the G and the U and the H. So laugh is not bad. Um... Yeah, these left... Well, I don't like this balance of three vowels. There's a 27 in the bag. One, two, six, nine. We're going to get some vowels if I play this. Um, I can't play that then. Unless, like, I don't have anything better. I've got to play some vowels with my move. Hmm. A G U E is a word, right? But like nothing I wanted if an if I found a play, where would it go? HUD I don't think is a word. Um the H U D right there would play off the U. But we want to play like the I with whatever we're doing. So it's looking for a place to put humid. There's not a place to put it. Um, okay, here's E-R. I could have I-E-R if I could get something down in front of it. I don't think that's going to be feasible here. Oh, H A something could play here. Hague is a location, H A G U E. It's a proper noun. That's too bad. Um but H A something might play. Hmm. No, I think I'm just hosed. I don't see... I don't see a way to play the H, the G, I, and U. Unless I can play most of those, this is just not going to end well. Oh, N-I-G-H could play, play here. There's only one U remaining. Um, it could, but the U I have doesn't have a synergy with anything in the bag other than the Q. I mean, we're already down 40 points. Um... There's two ends in the bag. Playing off the G might not be a goal here. Playing off the G could ruin my day. Let's keep GI, which is kind of a gamble. But, um, so we want to play hum or something. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, we're down a lot, but uh, this could, since we're playing against, what's our opponent have? They played Ion. I don't have any idea what their rack is, other than it does not have two E's in it.
Damn. All right. Well, we tried. Um, we got another U, and we have a W now. So that's going to make this more difficult. Um, yeah, so again, there's two N's. If we're fishing for I-N-G, there's no place to even put a bingo on this board. I should just try to maximize my score per play at this point. There's nowhere to put a bingo. IOU is a terrible leave. I can't do that. Um, but, like, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. I use such a terrible leap. Still, we're playing off of our G. That's not great. In general, we would want to get rid of the G, but since there's such a potential for ING in there, and since there is this LA lane, we have to hang on to this, even though like there's no chance ever that that works. Oh, we could also exchange, if I'm just like super bad at finding words exchanging is an option i should not forget that um yeah i don't think i'm going to manage to find a word here so let's just exchange uh I don't remember how the screen works. It's still unclear. Like, I've used the screen so many times, I still have no freaking idea. Four tiles selected. Does that mean we're exchanging four? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, I guess that means we're exchanging four. Um... Hmm. All right, so we have got IG, we've got AIB. AIB, where am I going to put something like that? It's not terrible. It's 15 points. It's not good at all. But at this point, I got five minutes remaining. I'm going to make excuses and just roll with it. Okay, we did not draw the Q. We have not drawn either N. Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> At this point, well, I should still hold on to the ING possibility. Um, yeah, what I should do is another exchange at this point. We're going to try fishing super hard for ING. Um, I should actually take a Oh, here's the bag. Yeah, okay. This looks fine. Alright, we still failed to draw an N. 
And our opponent he had both ends. Um, ISH is a suffix. Hmm. Now note, we would have to play a nine-letter word. We could only fit a vowel here, and most vowels don't fit there. And if we were to put a vowel here, we'd have to prefix it by another vowel and then by a consonant. So it's not happening there. Unless we could find a, a nine that starts with L-A and ends with I-S-H. And this seems like super unlikely. Um, Lajorish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Um... Hmm. What to play? All right, super, super inspired. Um, is this the best that I can do at this point? Oh, wow, RV. Well, now we know RV spelled this way as a word. That's cool way to spell RV. Um, hmm. And I thought I was being careful. Hmm. All right, thanks for the game. Yeah, at this point, like, by the end of this game, I was just frazzled with the whole thing. Uh, let's examine it to see, like, if I've missed any super common words. Um... All right, so you can navigate the turn list with the keyboard with the comma and period. Uh, these are hidden shortcuts. All right, so we found instead satined. Oh, right, here are satined. Yeah, stained. It makes sense to make an effort to hit both double word scores. I didn't even think about that. Um... Because usually I don't find a 7. Uh, yeah, we found the best play. We did not find the best play here. Cranker uh, over here. This it leaves part of the Woogle special behind. I don't like it. Crankier I like better, even though it, there's additional risk here. Apparently, Woogles does not think that the I duplication... Okay, this is worth 32 points. 
Um, the duplicate eye apparently is worth negative eight equity, whereas one eye is worth about, it's a positive equity. In my mind, duplicated eye is worse than minus eight. Um, but okay, Woogles would recommend taking, wait, um, I'm sorry, the, the score difference here is 14 points somehow. For Cranker, this is 46. Crankier is apparently 32. Oh, because the K here lands on a triple letter score. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Kina, I did not know this word. Uh, a tree yielding uh, cinchona bark. Or kinkona bark, uh, from which quinine is made. Okay, that's cool. Icker. That's a, probably a good one to know if I get in the jam. Um, yeah, we missed all these cool plays. Cry. Uh, administrative district in Russia. I learned something new every day. But yeah, Cranker is the highest scoring play. We missed all these and played that instead. Even Ick-er would have been better keeping the R. Uh, Banco. Oh, well, we found Bacon. I still maintain that Bacon is cool. But uh, a boon. Sometimes we might need a word like that. Abakai. Wow, plural of abacus? I did not realize abacus was Latin. I suppose I should have realized that. That's cool. Obia, it's another good vowel dump. A form of West Indian witchcraft. Uh, Bona, there's a Latin word we all know. Buai? Um... A remote rural place. Cool. <laughs> Thoroughly lost. Alright. Yeah, there's some words that have a lot of ways to be spelled. Um, that's cool. Oboe. What? A vessel for carrying oil and bulk ore. Since when and where? What is this vessel? But okay. Um, keyboard shortcuts don't work if you select those plays. You have to navigate the move list without doing that. Wait. When I go back and forward... Okay. Somehow Oboe got played again when I hit the forward key until I hit the forward key again. Bacon allowed this, and at this point I'm strategically lost. Uh, Bauji would be smarter than Boogie. Um, a wax candle, a flexible medical instrument for insertion into body passages. Um, a Mediterranean fish. Don't get those two mixed up. <laughs> All right. Uh, boogie, Sturday. Okay, so yeah, I did get one of the blanks this game. I can't complain too hard. Seeing a blank and seeing an S all at once, uh, I forget that this blank is being used as an S. Um, I was about to start saying, well, that's just kind of unfortunate. But no, I drew okay on this game. There's no excuse. Yeah, I played Wig. Wig was fine. I played Hum instead of Huma or Huge. Okay, that would have been a little tricky to find. This would have been very tricky to find because I'm not accustomed to looking for EE. Oh, uh, yeah, lots of plays in the margin there. <laughs> Another play in the other margin. Good God. Um, yeah, at this point, I'm... Not only strategically lost, but actually lost, unless some miracle play pops up. Uh, oh, I was looking for Gage. Where could have Gage if it's right here? 
that's uh yeah a l oh a tree the indian mulberry tree all right wait what what in the world renowny or renowner is what got played um yeah ing what is ing a meadow beside a river no we missed shogi we missed shogi oh no uh-oh uh-oh we shouldn't have missed shogi that that doesn't bode well all right an oriental board game yep well I guess that means next time we're going to have to play Shogi, because we missed Shogi. Hmm. Oh well. We tried, but needed to try harder. I'll have to keep that in mind next time I get that letter combination, because it'd be really fun to play Shogi in this game. Yeah, at this point I'm just brain dead. But apparently... Uh, oh wait. That was how the bot went out. RV was a nice play. Um, oh, I didn't realize just how many plays there are across here. GO does not prevent plays, apparently. But it rather seems to encourage them. Did not realize GO took so many different letters after it. And they all happen to match my opponent's letters perfectly. Uh, sorry. Sorry's a word? A cluster of sporagia. A spore cluster. Sorry, soros. Greek. Shri is, um, title of great respect given to a man. Ruse, like the kangaroo? Yep. Doors, okay. And co here refers to what? Uh, the Mari digging stick, among other things, perhaps. Mirins, yeah, the sweet rice wine. For some reason, I could not remember how to spell Mirin. Anyway, we missed all these plays, and the bot kicked our butt. By exactly 200 points, so at least there's some excitement in that. Well, we are still on the road to reaching 1070 rating in this category. Although here I'm playing practice games at a slower time control, but in the faster time control, um, my rating is still close to 1070. We'll get there eventually. Uh, just practice, 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 and we'll eventually get there. So, we are currently at 1063. We've got six and a half rating points to go until we reach 1070. But like I'm saying, um, that could be very far off. Uh, some of these other categories indicate I haven't played as much as I've played Blitz. Maybe I should practice or play some Rapid games and wait for this rapid rating to stabilize into something else. I don't know. But yeah, practice, 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 and um, we'll eventually get there. So, hope we all enjoyed these are fun little practice games. And yeah, the more words we learn, the better we can do. Although I still have to look for all these words in the margin here, margin there. Even in a 20 minute game, finding words or finding plays that involve three or four or five words at a time is super difficult but uh with practice we'll get there yeah that's uh so hope we enjoyed that thanks for watching